Welcome to episode eight of How to Build an Actually Useful Space Station. Today, we're launching an ore miner to provide the station with fuel. So let's jump right in. I start by building an escape pod using the same design as seen in episode one. Below this, I then add three large ore tanks and a large RCS fuel tank. Below this, I place a docking port upside down. Now on the sides, I add two pure liquid fuel tanks with no oxidizer. This is because I'm attaching nuclear engines, which don't need oxidizer to function. When I place these, I make sure that the bottom of the engine's nozzle is above the docking port so it doesn't hit anything. Now on the other sides, I add two drills, making sure they can reach the ground. Here, it's important to add radiators or thermal control systems nearby to make sure they don't overheat and explode. After adding some RCS, batteries and solar panels, the lander is about ready. We now just need to build a conventional launcher with enough Delta V to get us Minmus. After adding some more boosters and auto-strutting everything, we're ready to launch. We're taking a fairly standard approach to Minmus, but when we get there, we're going to land there directly without meeting the station first. When we arrive, I make sure to dispose of the upper stage and then land safely so we can begin mining. When the ore tanks are full, we then launch and transport this ore back to the actually useful space station where it can be used to create fuel. We can use this to refuel the lander and go collect more ore. Do a few runs of this and the fuel reserves will be full in no time.